making more money. Well, let me put that to Louise Hay, because we hear, don't we, all the time, that historically, uh, there hasn't been a level playing field when it mm -hmm. comes to the funding of schools, and actually something has to change, doesn't yeah. it? Well, firstly, let me say it's totally bizarre to hear a Tory MP saying he wants to see schools making more of shared services, because, of course, that's what we had when schools were under a lo uh, working in local authorities. And as academies and free schools have been brought forward, schools have gone away from that, so that's why we see more inefficiencies in the system. But there's two things here with school funding. Firstly, as was said at the beginning of that clip, um, it do the school new schools funding formula doesn't take into account the 8% rise in costs and pressures from increased pupil numbers, which the National Audit Office has said. Basically, schools are seeing 8% um, inflation. Now, Sheffield has historically been underfunded under the current system. So we're going to see quite a significant increase of 5.6%. Still a real terms cut, and that's what that um, teacher was saying there, and it's what Julian's uh, Tory colleague was saying, that the education sector as a whole is seeing a real terms cut. But what we're also seeing, as the teacher said at the end there, is that it's robbing Peter to pay Paul. Some schools are going to seriously lose out in order for others to benefit, and that's fundamentally unfair. And we heard this week that more...